Ella. Oye, te, uh, uh, estoy moviendo unas cosas ahorita. Te, te hablo en un ratito. Eh, ah, y me hablas, porfa. Ok, ándale, pues ahí disculpa, gracias. Oh, bye. Hey, uh, he told me uh, for the master, he says if, if you want it for 1500, uh, he can do it for 1500. My dad will be home tomorrow. I'll talk to him. He wants it. Who? Cool. My dad. Oh, so you're not sure? I'm going to sell it. Yeah, let's do something. Let me. Uh, so because I had I'll to let you know in the morning. I had to move everything. I had to, uh, tomorrow's first. Uh, no, tomorrow is the 31st, isn't it? I don't know. I was checking it. I think it's 31 days. No? I don't think so. Oh, shit. I think it's first tomorrow. No, it's the 31st. Nah. Yeah. Today's the last fucking day. <laughs> you don't worry. It's a little bit extra time. Bit. No. Yeah, I, I, I'll do something. I'm not finished with the only part because I'm moving everything. I thought today's the last day. Man. Well, I, I, I still have fortune to move uh, the hoys and, and uh, so, you know, between today and tomorrow I'll finish it anyways because it takes time. Yeah. I move everything to the storage. So right now... A little I'm, storage uh, bin over here? No, over there. In the, so so I, start, I start taking it everything. But they're going to tow part right now. That one and this one, the Volvo inside, the, the truck. Two at a time? No, he says uh, one at a time because they told, you don't have a shit in Oh, the nothing on the bottom? So uh, I told Lang if I move this one, I move this one, hey, he's that one. So I'm going to move this one, that one. And, uh, and our truck over there. I had to move it. You're getting a lot of stuff going. You got a lot wrapped up. What a pain. Yeah. But I don't want to, I'm happy to leave, man. I'm really fucking happy, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not happy you're leaving. I wish you were here. No, but I mean, because... Of, I know, I, she's I'm, a pain. I'm happy working here. Oh, I know. But I'm fucking every day, every month, the fucking, the fucking letter for the two days, and later, two, three days later, say, it's okay, rip it. It's okay, just discard the letter. You know, three times. That's bullshit. Remember last time? Remember last time when I, when I told you, you said, oh, let me come, let me see my dad. Yeah. She gave me one, and, 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 and every month she gave me one. Hey, niña. She's just not happy. And, uh, and I can't fucking be bullshit like that. No, it's hard to do. Fuck that bullshit. I'm, I'm leaving now. Even if she come over and say, I, you know, it's, uh, I'm sorry, but... You oh, know, you're too far along. Then uh, yeah. I'll give you one month free to stay. Fuck that bullshit. I'm not staying, man. Well, I'd stay for the one month and then leave. No, I'm free. No, no not even free. No, no, fuck it, huh? You don't even want to know her. No, no, I'm going to fuck it out of here, man. I'm, I'm tired of bullshit, yeah. No, no, no. Is that a customer's or is that yours? No, it's mine. Two wheel? Yeah. Right? Yeah. How much? This one, I put it on the internet for, for 2500 How many miles? 183, but I'm fucking reviewed the whole motor. <clears throat> the whole motor, you see the tires? Yeah, the tires are nice. I was looking at that. Yeah. I reviewed, I put a new crunch up, pistons. Uh, bearings, right bearings, main bearings, the oil wow. pump, everything, uh, the heads, uh, the old petrol, the gasket, uh, well, no, 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 a okay, cam shop, I, I buy an eBay because the other one no good, I put a cam bearings, everything, no, no, no I put a lot of shit in it, new timing belt, new, everything new in this truck, it runs fucking fine, really good, I like it, but I'm gonna, I move already the sound blaster, the machine over there in the back, I already move it to the storage, I, I ran 10 by 10, 10 by 10. Yeah, I'm going to move uh, the compressor and the other machine right now. I thought it today is the last day. You got a little bit of time. I'm going to move that, that one right now. Uh, um, I'll, go to the, I'll go to the bank and stuff. Um, so you're going you're gonna to get it back together though? Uh, yeah, I had, to, I had to do that, yeah. Um, but the, uh, I don't know if, if you have room over there so I can come over and do that. Oh, you could do it there, yeah. That's no I, problem. I take, I take the head. You say, you, you say tomorrow's thirty first. I take the other head. Come on. And, uh, I, I already got the other head. I got the other head. I take it out, and uh, and I and I'm gonna uh, yeah, one head. So I'm gonna review. So I'm gonna take this head tomorrow, uh -huh. and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna cut it. Do you know? Do the ball job and everything, and cut it and everything, and uh, and I fucking uh, uh, put it on. I put put it put put it put it put it both together. I got a gasket and everything, and uh, and uh, and I put everything together. 
Cool. And uh, that's it. I don't have, I, don't, I just, because I don't have money, and I would fucking have buy it, man. I like this shit. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I wish I could keep it. Either I'm either gonna either my dad will get it and drive it around, put some horns on it, or just write to eBay. Yeah. No, I, I think if you if you if you try if you try saw you saw that look at the inside. Pretty clean. Yeah, I, I like you know. Okay, I'll talk to you a little later then. <laughs> I thought it today is the last day. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. A little bit extra time. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Uh, you think? Uh, I don't know. It, it, uh, I'm, I'm trying to find my, my friend. He got a, a room for two cars over there. And uh, and he, he, he ran, me, ran me his pads before. So I can, uh, when I'm working with my expat, but I, I try to call and see if he can, he, he over there, but he's not over there. I don't know if uh, if you can uh, let me park a couple If something cars. runs, if something runs. Yeah, that one runs. If it runs, I can move it around. I can do something for a little while. Yeah, no, 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 it's just like uh, maybe, uh, Maybe a week. I'm gonna. I'm yeah, not whatever. gonna work right now. I'm not gonna. Whatever work. you need. I'm just gonna take this one. I take the head already with my friend, so he can he can do the bow job. I don't have time. I mean, I got a machines, everything I hear right here, but I don't have time. I thought it's fucking. I thought it's today the last day. So I'm gonna call my friend. If he do that, the the head, I'll pick it up right now and come over and and put it on a on the on this one, so I can take it to Mexico, the black one. And, uh, but I'm gonna call, uh, so I'll, that one of them's done, and you got to do the other one. You said the the Volvo inside. Oh, the the head. You yeah, the say. head right there. Uh, it's inside the other one. No, but I I, I I take it off. I take it off, and and and, and, and reveal both heads. That's what I was thinking. You I said, don't want yeah. to reveal only one. No, no, I no. I, that's what I always figured you was gonna do it. That's what you said. Yeah. And no, do I'm, the whole valve job on it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got and that it. was it. That was all it needed. It ran good except for. Probably smoked and yeah. wouldn't pass smog or something. Yeah. This one, no smoke. No smog, maybe, huh? No, no, the year is, I don't think so. Tell you what, I've been driving that around. It's a nice car. Which one? The Infinity. Oh, it's Nissan, man. It's nice. it, it has the factory torsion bar on the top. It's nice. V8. Yeah, it's a Nissan. Okay, sounds good, Hector. I'll talk to you in a little while. Okay. Huge box. Well, you heard it here first. I'm not happy about it, but my mechanically inclined neighbor won't be here anymore. And that's not cool. I don't know who they'll put in there. I don't know if this bitch next door will end up running to somebody that she runs or if she's just going to rent the place out again. How's it going? Huh? I don't know. It says so online, but they don't know what's going on. I... I, I need to put the thing in it. Oh, you say you're done with this? Huh? You say you're done? No, no, no. Oh. You got like three or four? Yeah, only that one and that one. This one. Because uh, I don't have a place to go. Right. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard. You know, no, no place. I, I'm, I'm trying like 20 places already, but they're not ready. Some not ready in two months, and then another one's like fucking here, is it there? Fucking. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, the Volvo, I'm gonna move it with my friend. If you need any stores, my dad will make you a deal. I'll have him give you a call if you want. You didn't seem too interested in going up that way. But uh, just park a car, maybe mount to Whatever you want, even living there if you want. Anything you want, he'll work with you however. Well, the, Cheap. Yeah, but the, the point is uh, a little bit too too far from the, from the 
you know, from the people, and uh, the people not gonna go, but the customers don't go over there. I don't know. They ask a couple of people, oh, you know, it's like people coming from Chula Vista, National City, and uh, Spring Valley. So I'm, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put everything in storage for now. Yeah, he'll even rent you storage if you want, cheap. Uh, storage, uh, the, but it's up there. Oh, it's up there too? Yeah. If it's just storage, you know, I mean, yeah. cheap. I know he'll do cheap. Yeah, I, I, I want to put the machines in, in, in a place when it's safe. Oh, he has a container he'd rent you too. He did say he had a container. Oh, yeah? So I don't know. Because uh, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, she told me again to, oh, you, you know, start fighting and start. Uh, she came over and got in a fight again? No, no, but I don't want she, but she, I, I already told her, okay, by first I, I'm out again. I, I mean, by end of the month. So maybe end of the month is the first is Friday. Friday or Saturday, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna try move everything on Saturday. You know, but I I went down with this truck and, uh, and that one. So this one I call my friend and I I tomorrow I'm gonna take the motor out and so he's gonna tow it to his house. And uh, so he. I'd like to do it. He's just a little bit higher than I can go. It's a nice well, car. He told me if if you if you want to put eighteen hundred, he's gonna pay me for the head. To do the put it back the heads and everything. He said, "Tell him, but give me eighteen hundred. I'll pay you. I'll pay you for the head. Like whatever you want. I put it on. I put it back. And, you know everything and whatever you want. And, you know I just gonna charge you the same. You know he's gonna he's, he pay. You give it him the eighteen hundred. I'll do the head. I have the head right here. I, I, I'm gonna cut it and cut the seats and everything. So I, I already got the gaskets and everything. He already buy the gasket. So I charge him three hundred bucks." Just to do the bow job, and and he already buy the gaskets and everything, so I don't have to. I don't. I don't. It's why I charge cheap because just labor. He already yeah, just labor. He got gaskets and everything. I got the machine to cut the heads. So. Um, cheap and fast now, buddy. That's yeah. nice. That's really nice. Yeah. He told me just tell him I'm eighteen hundred. I I pay for I pay you for the heads anyways. Did you just do that? We have to do. I have to do that anyway. I have to put it on. <laughs> I don't even have room. Tell him I would give fifteen hundred dollars for that car. I don't. And it's more than I want to go, but I just I like it. I mean, I want to say like thirteen hundred bucks or something, but I don't want to lowball either. I would give fifteen hundred dollars for the car. That's done. If it has to, it has to start. If he pays you and takes care of you, and I God, it's so nice. That, you know why? Is it because it's so nice inside? Yeah. It's so nice inside. It's just. A, and, you know, if I have money, I'll buy it, and I like it. See, that, my thing is, I have to, if I do it, I have to buff it, detail it, and sell it. I need one month. Boom, gone. I need my money back. I don't have the money to keep it. Yeah, no. It'd be nice. Just, just, just roll it, get the money back, put it in a package. You know? And I like doing that with stuff like that, or this. <laughs> I don't care. I can find all kinds of them. This, I won't find another one. I wish I could keep it. Yeah. yeah there you go. I mean, maybe you find another one somewhere, but not like this. No, no, yeah. Maybe if you find it somewhere else, it'd be all fixed up and they want $10,000 with new paint or something. Yeah, uh, or, or you find another one, all rusty. There's no rust, yeah, there's no rust, it's yeah. clean. That's why, yeah, uh, no, no rust. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. Yeah, I'll ask him. I'll ask him to see what he says. Clean. Clean. Because I'm just in time, huh? Just, yeah. It's just because she told me I, 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 she want me to move it out of here. Another way, I, I fucking I buy the I buy the car. I like it. I, I mean, he he, he went, you know, like uh, eighteen hundred dollars for the car, and I can I can do the job. You're gonna be Friday's the Friday is the first. Yeah, right. Yeah, and you're gonna be here all the time, right? Yeah. I'm, be in touch. If there's a problem or something, I will help you push. I'll hook up chains. If she starts a problem, I'll help you do anything you need to do. Yeah. I don't want you to have an issue with anything. You let me know. I'll haul drive cars. I'll move yeah. cars. T tonight or tomorrow morning, I'm gonna start moving the machines from the outside, from the back. I'm gonna put it in a truck and I'm gonna. Oh, start geez, moving. you got stuff in the back too. Yeah, I got much. What a pain. Just making sure everything's unhooked here because I got a good battery on it. Just moved nicely. Mini cold start.
I remembered right on the dot to push that button. Dang it. This is looking good. It's great. I love the back seat on it. I love it. it. Looks really good. A little bit of wear right there, but this piece is how they should look. You can see how perfect that stuff is. Little couple marks here. Nothing I'm going to worry about on this. However, if you look at the front seat. And the doors open and close. Nice. The front seat's been painted. On the front seat, it's not so nice. There's a little gouge starting there. And a big one right there. Right there. Right there. So this piece, this piece, this piece, easy replace, would look great. That piece I got to. And then you might as well do these two to where they look smoother like that right there. And then do the armrest. Gotta do the armrest. I hate this. I gotta get them tightened up. It's doing the thing. It's doing the thing. The thing where, um, no, oh, dang it. The thing where it kind of dies. Because these weren't tight enough. That should do it. Pretty 90% sure I got a good battery. I'm just not got a good connection. I could fix it right now. I'm just looking to move this out of the way for a bit. So I hope that'll do it. Um, Albert should be here in about 5 10 minutes. I'm just kind of getting the day ready. See? Now I'm thinking about doing <laughs> this piece, this piece, this piece leaving that but almost thinking about replacing the side i don't know i want it to match got the power steering working last of the carbureted cars Love that V8 sound. I like that wagon ear in black. I'm gonna try to list at the same time as this one as well, since now I'm waiting on that one. May as well. Um, gonna have to move some things around this morning. I'm gonna go get me a plastic bag for my rags. Hang on now. Maybe. Yeah, I got two things of rags. This is actual dirty rags. No, these are clean. No, these are dirty. How about this? Either way, they're getting washed. It takes me literally going through most of this stuff. I just can't put somebody on something if they don't end up getting it right. It's not a bad thing, I guess. It's just a thing. I 
I think this is for... Wow, almost knocked my eye out with that. Yeah, this is for the um, the hood on the GTA. Important part. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it out with one of the cars. In a minute. And I guess this listed, cleaned up. I'm gonna put it on Craigslisty. Not liking them clouds. The stuff that was restacked on here has no rhyme, reason, major. I don't know. It is all stacked. So I'm taking it all off. We're gonna start over at some point here today. Knock the dust off the shelves, man. Make this place look great. Make, make this shop look great again. Let's see how that's doing. It's been about 10 minutes or so since I left it running. Idle's nice. Well. It runs nice. I just wolfed it down at first. Let's do it again. It coughs a little bit. But if you ease into it, no problem at all. Well, there's a little cough there. They could need a little toony tune. Second time cough. First time no cough. Wow, first time cough. Could be a weak fuel pump. Spark plug. Starts nice. No coffin? Wow. Cough. No cough. No cough. Cough. Why do I rev on them so much? Why is it so important to me to do all this? I want to know exactly how something runs. I'll bet you I've idled in a car I'm selling in a couple hours. Oh yeah, easy. Two, three hours. Okay, so... The next thing here will be... Where I move to where and what, etc. What I move to where and what, shall I say? Now I'm gonna use this as a backup, a backup hose now, because I got a good hose. I got good hose, man. Y'all yeah, gotta have good hose. I gotta get rid of that Seville. So cheap, it's pitiful. It's not gone by the time you see this. It's, I'll just take so far under a grand, it's pathetic. You can part it out for way more. I just don't have time and space. This ain't for sale, that is cheap. Make you a deal. YouTube subscriber special. Serious. How much? Well, I don't know. Okay, I think I got rain coming, man. I really do. I'm gonna have to check the weather. I'm not feeling very confident in things. The wind is a yakking. And I am uh, moving and grooving. Albert just got here. So I should have a couple things going for him. I'm actually going to have him buff a car today um, for the first time. So we'll see 
how that all turns out here in a while. Get ready to write it down and I'll start running through it. Okay. That's what she said. Right there. That's that. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Um, um, I set three of them if you reach up in that lip right there. Yep. I pulled some more of this stuff off. It's kind of hard for you to choose, so whatever. That's yeah, why I'm kind of yeah. doing and we'll do in between. My biggest thing for today is this. I don't have any videos up. My video is already four hours late. Um, so I'm trying to get them all done. And the big thing is the ones I'm doing now are all trip videos. So I'm taking 50 videos and editing them into one. So it's kind of a pain in the arse. And I've got to make six intros. So between that and working with you is what I'm doing. Okay. I want them dusted off real quick to where everything's just halfway decent. Um, that's just one thing. We'll put stuff back on together to where I can go through because I've kind of taken off and I've laid it aside. If you leave everything kind of like it is, um, see, these are collector's things. I got to keep them in the trailer. We'll dig into that today at some point and get rid of the mats. So just kind of for your knowledge type thing. Once we get rid of that and a couple things here, it should take shape pretty quick. All these tools, the timing light, I'll get some kind of a container, hopefully out of that thing, and we can do it to it. That one I decided was dirty stuff, and so I put it all in one. And so when we're done here, we should be able to go clean and dirty pretty easy. Okay. Um, the only other thing we're going to need is a place to hang them up and kind of keep them. Because if we dry it, it's not always going to be bad. Like, yeah, so it can dry out. Hard. I have a little rack. What would be cool is like... Something it just all it's got to be quick and remember to take in or they all blow away yeah. um, Maybe we can rig up, rig up something between that and that or something or I don't know I really it's not the most Whatever thing right now. This is cool to end up having some stuff on whether it be detailing or what um, it's just not really being used right now, but it makes it a lot easier to have everything together. So if we get any plans for that, I'm just kind of showing you some things that we could end up using. You know what? That box is gonna get soaked. Um, okay, so. God, I had another rack. We could even hang them on that, you know? Okay. So, throughout the day, miscellaneous cleaning, and we'll jump back on this together at certain times. Um, I want to get this cleaned up, degreaser it, clean it up real good, wash it up, get it looking good and take pictures and put it on Craigslist. It still works and stuff, it's just it's a little weak. It'll, it won't pull that. And that's the problem is, well it's 4,500 pounds, that's 6,000, and 4,500 you've got to be only 17.9 feet or more. That would be good for like a or something. It'd be great for something, it'd be great. Mine, my trailer with the extra six foot puts too much of a load. And for one of these cars, it'll do it, but that needs that's yeah that's what i need okay. um so how are you so that would be good i want to get that on craigslist um
make sure when you're washing things, when you're doing interiors, etc., etc., make sure, and you had a clue, you had a first clue with there being a problem with the doors on that car, but make sure if you're doing door panels, whatever you're doing, that as you hit things, you don't get left like that, and this one, it don't even work to unlock. So that'll be something I have to disclose. But, um, the Infinity was locked up, and that's where the keys were, in the ignition locked up and I almost guarantee it got bumped or something or something it doesn't matter it just called AAA got it done but what's his name can't it's how it works too whenever something like that happens what's his name drove back and brought his niece to buy the car so we're sitting there with our thumb in our ass waiting for a AAA that takes two hours but that is the easiest thing in the world to do is lock something up um, and on that I'm just wanting to get to the bottom of something and I I'm kind of direct on wanting to know what we're doing to where I can help get to the thing. And with you not wanting to get in the car and stuff, I understand exactly where you're coming from. And at the same time, we're gonna be in that fucking car, moving it around, and there'll be little touches we have to do. It's just a bad thing of what happens around here. Have you buffed anything? Uh, when I was young. Wibble wobble? Uh, wobble, 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 wobble. So it doesn't really, it just kind of goes around? I don't know how you do it, but my, the way my dad wanted it, it was like, kind of like a circle, rub it in circle. And, and you didn't use, hang on, let me show you. Okay, I like the back end of this car. I'm gonna ask a question here. This piece, leave it on or take it off? Can you hold that right there? There's with it on, pop it off. And there's with it off. It's a Q45, it's a beautiful car, it's as original as can be. And that piece, I can easily get that off and everything. Put it on one more time, please. It's just a personal preference type thing. To me, it makes it look like an Impala and a Bentley made a loaf, baby. Let me know what you think in the comments below. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Buy the car, too. Makes it nice, and nothing I do is really scripted. It's just, bam, I'm making a video all of a sudden. And it should be a little more scripted to where it can be better. I mean, throwing these in, and I'm going to give you a big tip with this one just by seeing it. I mean, you can see the difference here. The roughest of all of them. Really? It's gonna tear it up more than this ever will. Jeez. Really, uh, does it say the grit anymore? No, they don't say the grit anymore. But watch, you see this? I'm gonna do this. Hang on, we'll just do it towards okay. one time and done. Now, <clears throat> I to ask your, your, your opinion on the quick detailer. Like Meguiar's or yeah. car. how do you feel about that on cars? That's for like if your car's already waxed up and like you're just gonna clean it up or something maybe. Hmm. You mean does it do a good buff job? No, 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 I mean like just keeping the car clean. That's what I use on my car. I never do you really wash it? Wa I wash it, scrub it, get all the dirt off. It should be waxed at least once a year. If once you, a year? If you want it to be, because people would do it. And that's saying, I'm saying at least, a lot of people would be like, oh, that's not enough, you need to do it every three or four months. Yeah. You know, it just depends on the person. I mean, for a newer car like that, you've got a good coat, I'd at least do it every year, get a good show on it. And it'll make your quick dealer work easier too. It'll come right off. And that's another thing on this one, I forgot to say it on the video, but we've left it set for a while. So there's not any real grit, but there is some. Mm -hmm. That's why this one's here. That's good. Just don't put any pressure on it and just give it a quick little and it'll get all the dust. Yeah. And the reason it's like this is the minute I, the minute we wash something, it just goes right back to that. Okay. Yeah, and I have some the pink stuff is basically that. It's got little amounts of wax and different kinds of clay in it and stuff to make it polished, but yeah, I think it's after you just to keep it in between. It's great. Your car's always clean. Yeah. Mine are never clean. I can't even use it on my car. Yeah. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And I'm out here with the Volvo 264. And I was going to do a different kind of video. Um, I have a lot of people ask, well, how hard is that to do? What do I do with this? How do I do that? I've done some how to videos, but I've never done one with somebody who hasn't used this specific machine, which I'll show you. There's a big difference in the kind of a buffer or polisher you use. And this is a, this is a pretty serious machine here. This thing will take the paint right off your car. 
And a lot of the ones, most of the time, that people use are the kind that have, I'll show you here, two handles and they kind of, it's an orbital and it goes more like that. It doesn't really spin, it goes like that. So it's, it's really hard. I don't think there's any paint you could damage with it. Um, and I was gonna show you a little bit about pads. And this one's a flat pad and it's kind of spongy. Now they also have a webbed pad and it's a little less dense, I guess you would say. This one's softer. And then you've got the black pad, which is just, this thing will fold right up in your hands. Now that's going to be mostly for kind of a final. And now depending on what brand you use, the different colors could equal a different buffing grit to the pads. Um, so with that in mind, you've got wool. Wool is usually, this one's been used a lot, look at that. Wool is usually the most cutting of any of them. I think there is like a super blue or something that might be a little more cut, but the wool gives you the most grit. Another thing to watch out for, these are cheap pads, um, and I get them in bulk because I do so much, and I'm pretty comfortable with the way I detail to know how to do what I'm doing. Now with somebody who's never done it before, we'll see how much of the paint they take off of it and stuff, and it's interesting. Not really if they take too much paint off. <laughs> okay, so, and now, by the way, this is Albert, hey. and Albert's been helping me out a lot around here, and it's good to have somebody who has some common sense. You're going to see, this guy thinks, man, I'm, I, I taped off one light, and I'm sitting there putting paper towels on the light, and all of a sudden he picks up the tape and starts taping off the rest of the light. You don't get that nowadays. So, back to this. This here is hard. It's foaming. Go ahead and feel that since you're not. This one. Just. Oh, yeah. Velcro. Hard on the side, just hard foam. You're not gonna, this right here will cut in, dent, scrape, and everything else your car. This thing here cannot touch the paint or the car in any way, shape, or form. Now you'll see with my cheap pad versus this pad. This pad is way safer on the edges for people. When you come around something like this and you push into it, give me a little bit more cord, and you push into it, it's hard to make that yellow part hit. We're not gonna use this one. We're gonna use the dangerous one. And you know what? Just for the hishmeckety of it, we're gonna start off with a brand new pad to where there's no little tears or nothing to where when he tears his pad up, I can be, dude, you tore my pad up or something. And he can't say, oh, there's already a tear in it. No, there wasn't. Seriously though, don't be worried about tearing a pad. However, if you do tear a pad, remember, these things can be up to 30 bucks a pad. So it is not a cheap thing to do. Okay, I'm gonna do a little piece of it here, show you a little before and get kind of set up. Be right back. That's like having almost nothing on there. And it's all- the final, right? Yeah. And this this one being a light color, it could not even really matter on um, doing a final on it. We might not even have to do nothing. We could just do the hard one. Okay, so I'm going to hand this off to him. This is a before. And what I'm going to basically do is show him something on a half of this hood or something, or a quarter of the hood, maybe a piece of the fender, to where he gets a good idea of how to do around every kind of part. And I'm serious at home, don't be scared of these machines, but at the same time, be horrified about them. I mean, you can take a finger off or something if you're not careful. You can get, I'll tell you what, you wrap the cord up in it and you're going to have hurting like you never had before maybe. And I'm going to do a piece of this back here like this. And I'll explain kind of what I mean with the cord right now. As you're buffing and such, you could go, the minute that hits that and wraps up, it could jerk that thing out of your hand, catch your finger in the middle of it and rip it right off. There is a multitude of things could happen. That is the most dangerous thing with buffing besides wearing some kind of eye protection. You had glasses yesterday, you have glasses today? No. I wear, I'm, I'm not glasses today. So we got, that there, 
And the first thing you want to do is just this right here. Whip that thing over your shoulder to where it's over your shoulder and get yourself a good lead to where it's in between here and you can work like that. With that, get some wax on the thing. Wax. This ain't wax. This is polished. You can tell it's actually a mixture. There is waxes in this. Grab another top in there. Off of anything. So that's how it looks now. I'm going to clip more in in a second here. You got three of them on the shelf. Any of them will work. Well, we can't use a new one. No. It's not even cut. Okay, back with you here. First thing you want to do, especially with a fresh pad, is give it a bit of that. And you'll be using a little extra product, especially on something that's dry. Now, this is a digital one. I do not like a digital. If you buy one, don't buy a digital. Buy one with a trigger to where you can control the RPM, but this is a little dummy proof too. 1500 or 2000 is what you get. And about 1750 is perfect. So start off as slow as you can. Keep it level. And don't let it hop around on you. But as you can see, you're gonna take parts of the paint off. Another thing here, you gotta turn it off. Don't just put it back down into it or throw the wax everywhere and make a mess in here and everything. It's always nice to rub it around and you can see how there's color in that and such. And with that in mind, this is such an open porous paint. I would never suggest going more than 1500 on it. And we are taking some of it off, you can see. This here is going to look all different though. Okay, now when it comes to an edge, don't put too much pressure on it. Put pressure on this part and you're pushing down. When you come to the edge, lighten up. Are you getting this part of my hand? So you're pushing down here. But when you get here, let up, and you can hear the machine almost, and just let it go over that edge nice and easy, or you'll take the paint off of it. Same thing with a triple edge like that. Don't put a lot of pressure. Slightly go into it. And that's it. This piece here is pretty much polished as I'm going to do it. Now, there's nothing you can do about this. This is the way it's going to look. Feel that. You can tell it's a nice feel though and it's nice metal. Now are you going to be able to tell down the sides here? I think on this maybe possibly. It definitely is shinier and you can tell a bit down here that it likely hasn't been buffed. Um, on these pieces, anything plastic like that, here's what I like to do on the sides. Now you've got it on your pad a bit. You don't have to use as much. But don't get on them black things like I just did very much. Just buff right along it. And the machine will keep walking forward. The trick is you want to hit that chrome a bit though. But if you push too hard in here, you're going to have an issue. So for what it's worth, that's the size. One last tip on this. We haven't hit anything yet that's been really bad, but right here you could. When you're coming down, if you grind into this, you do not want this part, cannot touch nothing. If you come in like this, you're going to fucking scratch, gouge, or something in the car. Turn it off. I said fucking, and I hadn't cussed since then. And I try, I'm really good. On work vlogs, I don't care. Fucking this, shit that. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to keep it really kosher. Okay, so before we put it back on, no questions or whatever, right? Simple deal. That's pretty good. Wow, that's a huge difference though. Which paints off, man. That's factory primer pretty much, base coat. You know, but what are you going to do? I want them to see what they're dealing with. And you either leave it faded, or do it like that. 
That's my choice, man. I, I just got to do it like that and be up front. Because what are they? I, I'll bet you you could almost wash some of that paint off. Don't put any pressure hardly on the top. The sides can handle some pressure. And then you've always got to kind of think ahead and just stuff like this on a final thing. Really easy to hit that up real quick. And you can tell right there that I didn't hit that part because I made it only go to here and I just kind of went like that and hit back at it. You can tell that middle part there. Yeah. So, this part makes sure it hit again. This part I got. But, it seems like that, whatever, hit them a little. So, I could even do the, the whole trim on the car with the cherry plug here. Because I felt like that would be, because what you just did was a lot easier than trying to get real deep down into there. You want to get it and do it as close as you can mm -hmm. and then touch it up. And then that, and see, now there you go. That's the same thing on that car like we were talking the other day. The same thing on that Jeep. You just vacuumed it. We're two weeks away, maybe three. I just put myself, shoved myself in the ass by making a deal on the seats because I want them done. And I would rather have just pictured it yesterday. I could have I could have got it done yesterday. Would nobody hear even? But it's not ready. But still, vacuuming it and getting the stuff ready, we're always taking like two or three bites of something. Yeah. So, I mean, it... I'm gonna do this little spot right here. <laughs> it mostly all just comes off with the polish. Then it's done the bad deal. But now here's where you can hurt something. You're, you forget about that. Look, forget about that. Here's where you can hurt something. It's coming into the steam. And you gotta put the pressure right there and hit it over the edge. Down here, don't get into the rust too much. You gotta stay away from there. You touch it with that, it'll rip this thing apart. And then you catch with it like that. Same thing as the top here. Just get it close. Oh yeah. And I was just going to tell you that, that right there, when I just put my shadow on it, I seen it was deeper. Before I did it, I thought it might take it out. But it'll at least round it up a little bit and make it look good. And then just hit that slow. So I didn't get back here. You're going to have to touch this up a bit, stay away from here. So I kind of do this touch this up and then kind of come from here forward um, and we'll do a little piece on the front I'll fix that camera right now for parts like this just touch up with the cloth. for parts like this you want to be careful hang on let's just do this to where it's oh man I'm gonna do this lip too Okay, so a word about lenses and lips. Lips, like that. I want to do that. Just because, just because. Lenses, you want to be careful and don't put a lot of pressure on them or very much RPM. But ain't nothing wrong with doing them. Just don't put too much pressure. And I'll show you something else that just happened there and why that buffer jumped. The buffer jumped because I touched that. And you can tell when it touched that, it left a mark. And that's what you'll do to your stuff. So be careful and don't touch that. Well, how did that happen? Well, that happened because that piece right there touched it. So anything that edge touches, it will rip the paint or whatever off of. Whatever happened here, we've got little pieces falling off. Not the best of ideal things, but the way it is. Here goes the lip. This emblem will tear your thing apart also. This is going to take a little bit of this paint off. So it definitely evens it out a bit, makes it shinier, it's going to give it a deeper finish. But basically it's this with the clear coat gone. 
um, just burn off over time. Uh, Two-stage paint, maybe. I don't know. I don't care. I know that this is the best that this car can look, and that's all there is to it. Look at this side. I did that right there when we were having camera problems. Okay, we're going to do a little piece on the front. And as you can see on this fender, there's some stuff that's really not going to come out here. And just for a whatever, I'll show that first. Now look at where this thing is. Show it up close. And we're talking, it's going to hurt it. you got to be careful here. And just turn the thing off before you put it back on. Even right about there is about the perfect speed. You just don't want to throw wax all over. Now this is going to be really hard because it's such a small area here. You've got to lift up and do it with the edge. And as you can see, it'll take a lot of marks right out. So in a way, I am doing it with the edge there, with no pressure. You just got to be very meticulous in this. Use a method, remember where you've been and where you haven't been, and that is one reason why I'm totally okay letting Albert do this car, is because he seems very methodical in what he's doing and picks up stuff fast. Um, and I believe pretty much anybody who pays attention and doesn't do things too fast or get out of control on it can make a really nice job of detailing by paying attention to details. I've had people in my videos say, oh, you're just too picky. You're being too, you're being too picky about how you get it done. It's called detailing for a reason because you're doing the details. Like what I'm doing right here around this is gonna make the end result right here look great versus leaving that look all faded. Um, we're gonna have a final wipe down, a wash after this. It's not important at this point that all the little residue or anything be off. And this is a mix of wax and polishes. Um, we're gonna redo this with a degreaser that I have and we're done to get all this stuff off even better. But that's it, I'm gonna do one quarter chunk of this hood. And he'll get kind of a before there. And I know I've said a long time that this will be coming and getting a product on my channel for this and it just hasn't happened and hopefully with help here now I'll be able to get it done and get the labels done and all that good stuff you can see the show close how the things spin dirt off of corrosion out of stuff like that that you can take as far as you want on that end of it. Again, if you're going over this stuff, it's just easier to turn the machine down and almost off. And watch out for those ridges. When you hit something like this, it burns off smears that much. You know you can stay on it for a little while. Give it just a little bit of pressure, and when it stops smearing as much, you're pretty much done. Unless it's a show car and a show paint job, but if that were the case, you wouldn't have little corrosion spots like this, now would you? I'm detailing a totally different kind of stuff here. This stuff is stuff that people normally wouldn't put this process into. Be 
careful when you set this thing down. You don't tap the back end too much. Or you could end up with a scratch in your paint. Now, this will show a big difference between each side, I think. And I can't see the other side yet. I'm kind of guesstimating. Yeah, it puts some shine in it. And it definitely, back up over here to where they can see. Yeah, come here right here. Yeah. So that's just different. It definitely adds some shine to it. It's the best you can do. And there's a little bit of wax in it to where it gives it a little bit of protection also. Um, and that's what you're going to end up with. And every car is going to be different. And I want to say right now that this is the original paint on this car. So there's another thing. Number one, if I'm selling a, this is a cool car. Can you pop the hood? They got that dumb little pull thing in there. But this is a PRV car and they're getting rare. Not only is it a PRV car, it's a PRV car with a four speed ma uh, manual transmission with the electronic overdrive. As cool as it gets. Look at the spread. It has a more vertical or whatever spread on the heads than any ever motor ever made. Um, it's about 25 or 20 extra degrees of a spread between a Chevy 350. And as you can see, this is back when they started putting all the power in the heads on motors. No actual aluminum fan. And this thing is mean going around. You gotta watch out, you take a chunk of your wrist right out. Okay, well that's that. Awesomely beautiful. And what I was gonna say, the main thing is when you've got something old like this, that is original paint and you're selling it, don't try to paint the car. Don't paint the car. You're never gonna please anybody on color ever. Well, I like it, but I would have been red. Or whatever the case may be. On top of that, what are you hiding? It looks like you're hiding something. I'm hiding nothing. This car has no corrosion. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at the fender wells. And you're gonna be able to tell that in my videos and stuff. That's not a problem. It needs a paint job. You've gotta expect that for a 40 year old car or whatever. What is this? 36 years, 37 years old. That's the deal. That's beautiful. Why is that beautiful? Because that's faded and crappy and rough and that is smooth and nice. And that is your actual surface right there. That's what you've got to work with. Take this here. You could wet 400 this car down, take out a couple dings and paint the sucker. Done deal. Uh, it's that easy. Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna cut Albert loose on it and I'm actually gonna do a couple videos here. I haven't got my video up by the day for at 1.30 and I'll come out and do a video in between of how far he's got and how he's doing and we got big faith. I do, I think he's gonna do great. Thanks for watching, we'll talk to you in a minute. Um, see, I think they did them like that. It's that era. I think they did them a frost chrome like that. I don't think that chrome was ever a bright chrome. I think it was meant to be a frosty, duller chrome. Okay, so I think you got that, right? Yep, I think so. Um, so, like I say, you are going to take paint off. You've seen how the swirly started here. Yeah. And you've seen how it's got to a less, less, less. I, I, honestly, that kind of worried me. I saw that and it was getting all dirty and then it wasn't going away, but then I saw how you finished it and then it started going away. It's just, so you got to get it. Why, that's why I was and that's the thing too, is basically now I've taken any bad paint off. There's no bad paint on this, this is what you got. This here is gonna re I would probably like 150 this down or something, because you could feel of it. You could feel, yeah. and all that'll show when you paint it, unless you 150 it, and then you want an epoxy primer and seal it in to where you got a nice surface. But unless they take and they strip it all the way down to metal, that'd be the other way. Think of this, on the back, this is one of the most perfect painting surfaces you could have. Like I say, wet 400 this down, and I don't even know if I'd primer it. I mean, it's got such a good factory coat on the bottom, it's ready, man. But I'd probably epoxy primer the whole fucking car, because I think it's bitching. Put a big V8 in it, put a big old LS10 for like $18,000, <laughs> and it's just like sleep for people with lights. Just, just like jump on people like in your little Azusa, that'd be fun. You might even lose in the long run because you'd be burning rubber everywhere, but they'd just freak out when you lit up beside them in this piece of shit, you know? Yeah, and you know, you can't put a motor in it like that and not have fucking awesome pipes that just reverberate. Okay, cool. So, what about the stickers? You leave the stickers on? Should I go over? It always it? depends on the stickers. Mr. Hinga Machinga, the Spanish, I wish I understood and spoke. I definitely leave because of the kind of thing it is. So, just watch out on it 
and when you go over it, go over it this way and not this way. So that's where it's going. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll try to make it as good as I can. But that was cool for what he did. And the same here, I'll show you the thing later. Oh no, I took it to Montana. I got a stack of books like this with pictures. Like I told you, I told you where he ordered it from. He ordered it straight from Volvo and flew over to the factory. I think he has the keychain on it. So wow. you special order your car exactly the way you want it. You fly to Sweden, you pick up your car and you watch them put the final touches in coming through the assembly line, and everything. And then they give you the big red carpet experience to your car and everything. And thank you so much and stuff. And then you take off. This guy took off for three months and did a tour of all of Europe, all the way down to the end of Spain. And then left his car in Spain and shipped it home. Just so freaking cool. They don't even offer that no more. Really? No, you used to you could order exactly as you wanted, and that's what's so cool about it. That motor and that tranny is probably like a 200 car combination that they ever made. It's just so rare. With the leather, oh god, the leather's unheard of in this with all them kind of options and stuff. It's got the AC, everything works, it's clean, it's cool, and somebody's gonna have a neat little classic. But I think you got it. Um, and the last thing is um, do windows and everything. With the this? Really? Just be careful of mirrors, of yeah. touching everything, yeah, 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 yeah. trim. Rubber is the main thing, but do windows and everything. And the reasoning behind it is you're going to be scrubbing them later. You're going to be doing this. The same thing when you're washing. Wash the windows. You do everything. The same with this. It'll take any of that rough stuff off to where when we're doing the windows later, it ain't smearing it all over. It just makes our job easier later. And then what I showed you on doing this kind of stuff, like what I showed you on doing the is going to be really prime now also on this again it'll get one more time of it because it'll take any of that white off and get it as long as we get in the first day and a half or so but i touched the tire there don't do that etc but <laughs> then there's a good example you're not going to do perfect you're going to mess something up somewhere just make sure what you mess up is not this here on the side of the paint because it's awful and that's the hardest place to do right there Besides that, these fucking things here just come in this way and then come in this way and then you just gotta barely be you'll get a you'll get a hang for it. You really will. Okay. Have fun with it. Was there anything else? This was the last thing, this is all we got right now. Everything for the morning was kinda zipped up but this, huh? Okay. Yeah, um just across checklist I got done. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you in a minute. We shall see. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes or so. We'll see not too down here. Oh, no, no, no. That was good. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. What was that? That was good, man. And that trunk lid, it's a really pity, but come on. It's, you know, if I owned the car, what I'd probably do is I'd buy a can of touch-up paint from the shop and touch up just that. Just the trunk yeah, those. and I'd leave the original like it is because the hood's, I might do the hood. The hood's not bad though, man. It's like, this is cool enough that you drive it around and somebody dings it, you're not like, oh my God, my car got dinged. So, I was gonna say, stay away from this too. Yeah, yeah. Um, now I noticed that a couple of these like they're not going away. I've been on it. For but when you yeah, don't worry about it. Minutes. When you basically you can keep doing that as long as you want. Get it to just a good couple times back and forth. Yeah, and then just wipe it down and it'll smear off. But honestly, you could keep doing that and doing that because it's going to keep tiny scratching, tiny scratching. It would almost smooth it out pretty good, but we don't care to go that far. It needs to be sanded. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, so I learned the hard way that I should probably keep the pad down after I sanded it in. No, 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 I mean like I put the, the, the polish and then I turned it in and then I turned it up. So it it was tilted it. a bit. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit. Yeah, it'll do that. Everything down. But. Cool, looks good, man. We'll yeah. clip more in in a second here. Yeah, awesome. And like you're doing there, just take half the car. And I like kind of usually go right past by a little half to where I go past half each time. But just half the car and keep coming around. And the only reason I went two ends is because I knew this would turn out a lot different than that. Yeah. 
so weird too. I mean, I don't know if maybe, maybe it got tapped or something and they painted this, but I don't think so because it's a factory. That's not prior to somebody did it. Weird. You know, it's really, look at this. You'll never ever see a car in this body style with factory Volvo slotted mags like that. It's factory sporty. I mean, back in the day, that was sporty. They didn't have 18s and shit. When I was a kid, I, mean, I think it was 84 when the Corvette came out. That's when 16s, 16s, whoa, a whole inch bigger. <laughs> uh, okay, cool, yeah, do it to it, man. That's, that's nice. Just go faster. Faster? A little bit. Not a lot. Just I think you're worrying too much on that they'll come out on the little things and stuff. Just kind of blow past them a little bit more. Uh, you've done a bit then, yeah. Yeah, you did a bit more of the side. I wasn't paying attention to the side. Well, and then I was I was doing the windows, and then I was like, wait, I should probably do the roof first so I can take the yeah. windows. Then I do the windows, and I, work, I was going to work my way down. I love it. Cool stuff. You see what I mean about that yellow edge too? You just gotta watch how it is. Yeah, yeah. At first it was kind of like jerking me around, but I realized you gotta like smooth it first. It'll walk for you. It'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's hard to get used to, but the minute you're used to it, that buffer will do half the work for you. Yeah. Awesome. Pressure, you can put a lot more pressure here than you were there. With the rain coming, I had the bitch next door call. And say somebody's blocking her driveway. I guess he kind of is. Um, okay, we got a problem with um, cars. Car? Yeah, the cunt next door doesn't like where you're parked. Park? Yeah, so as long as she's the cunt next door, we're gonna have to work out something different. Um, well, didn't you say you were gonna move a couple of the cars inside? Well, I was gonna do all kinds of things, but what we can do and do at the same time is all a different thing here. Um, let's push this back. We'll start with that. Can I wax this real quick? Yeah, just rub it off. Just, just leave it. Just leave it. You're fine. Dude, I showed you the keys. Glove box. That was a dumb place to put them. That's good. Now, let's move the cords. It'll be a little closer to the ground over here. We'll have to push it up out of our hole. Move the cords. I'm gonna warm this up and back it up. I'm gonna go, I gotta go get the keys. I'll be right back. Yeah, I think we can fit it in there. Okay. My bitty of a neighbor doesn't like where he's parked. You should be good. There's plenty of room there now, right? Yeah. You know, what I worry about too is with, I'll bet you if this motherfucker goes dead while you're out and around, uh, it locked your car down, you wouldn't be able to do shit. Yeah. I think it's just what's over us and it's gonna go past, but whatever it, if it starts raining, like we're done. They're in there good, huh? Yeah. 
You know, the problem is it's not wide enough to go yeah, either. Yeah, that's what sucks. That, that turns into that. I told you that, right? What? That is that. Really? Yes, sir. Two years ago. And it was like a funny joke at first because it got to be this big. And then it was like, oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it's so funny no more, dude. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's some itty bitty ground. There ain't nowhere I can put that. There's no drilling through this. This is intense. Wow. Yeah, just on there. However, they sure don't give you much cord. my battery it's going to be over here so no problem turning that around in fact as I'm talking I think I'm gonna just do that Let's see I think I'll nail a board yeah so we're I'll just put these two like this battery for this. I don't, I'm not going to want to leave my battery in a winch on this trailer. For my dad to just stick it in his yard, they will steal it. I actually have so many little things going on. And the way my help comes in is kind of like meh. You know, whenever. But at least I do have a little help, which is nice for a change. Now, pictures. I made a video on cleaning floor mats. I gotta say, they look oh a few percent better. You know the way he put this in here. I'm not very confident in his abilities anymore. We were cleaning up in case it rained. Which I found important. Oh, bam! Let me get some instructions today. Let's see what they say about this. But you gotta carry this thing a certain way. I told him to. Turn the water off, release the pressure, and hook the power washer. You don't just shove it in here like that. Look at that all. What a mess. What a frickin' mess. Okay. It's life. Okay, I'll clip more in in a second here. It is getting a few things moving around. See, dude, right here, man. What year is this? Um. Last, well, no, there's one more year of this body style, 99. 99? I still miles. get old body styles, 150. Is it? Oh, yeah, you sit in it, do whatever you want. Salvage or plane? Plane? Yeah. Same title. You heard the meal from Steve. Be six or be four? Six? <laughs> Come on, dude. I ain't gonna fucking hook you up with no fucking econ economical car. No little, little girly car. This is a big boy. This is a big daddy, man. This comparable. V8. Look at this fact. Oh. This is a factory right here too, buddy. V8. This is as nice as it gets. It's going on. E it's going on eBay for more, but um, thirty-two hundred. I trade parcel for cigarettes. <laughs> What's the lowest you take for it? I take $2,950. I'm going to put it on eBay for $5,800 or best offer. It's a nice car. Have fun, man. Anything you ever need, I'll get you at the auction, man. What, what auction? Any auction. Hey, I go every week. If you find any, like, any trucks pretty cheap, 
I do all kinds of trucks. Yeah, what kind of trucks do you see? Over here? Anything you want. There's 25,000 cars a week. There's seven auctions, and I just kind of pick which one I'm going to. What, what, what? Like, give me a list, like what truck that's available on Nomad you can get them for. Anything. What are you looking for? So, like newer, older? No, it doesn't, uh, like old, maybe an old Dodge or a Ram like that. Like what year? Like 03, 02? 02, 03. Like 98 through 01s, the last body style, the old body style? Is it like that? No, that's like an 03 to 06, huh? Yeah, I think 02. Maybe. Yeah. Um, I don't get into them as much. The stuff like that goes through for twenty-five to fifty-five hundred bucks all the time. Uh, if you see something like that, original price, let me know. I'll see. Well, I'll see. I'll see a couple hundred of them. Um, all of them. All of them. Mannheim, Odessa, uh, all of them. Let me know when you, you when you go. Or I'll give write down my cell number right now. <laughs> hey, you know something. I mean, I, I'm using it for work. You understand? Mm-hmm. No. It, you remember my dad here, huh? Long time ago. Yeah. You've been here for mostly for the last time I remember for yeah. a long time. Yeah, he just passed away. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, How old is he? Uh, he was 59. Oh, he's young. Heart attack. Heart attack. 619 Eric card? Man, I'll tell you what, in about one minute. There we go. Bam. Wait, 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 wait. Bam. I don't know what I'm doing. What's your name? Hey, <laughs> another <laughs> It, yeah, like this. No, this part is clean, bro. This is what was there today. Well, what I looked at. But this is uh, what, what, 68? 64. They had the Eleanor conversion, so it makes it look a little newer, too. Yeah. They had a Defender. No, it's <laughs> They had a sweet old Batman vet looking thing. And a sweet 850 coupe, and it was a manual 12 cylinder. Yeah. I do a lot of conversion vans, I ship them to Australia. Uh, how, how much can you get a, like a cargo van? Too. Oh, cheap. A lot of cargo vans go through. How much? Most of the stuff I go is really, really low mile. Um, like a, a early 90s or something, a mid 90s. Yeah. Like 1500 to 2500 bucks, depending on the shape. And if it's. Some of them go through brand new tires. I get some of the stuff from like the customs agents and stuff to where it's just. Uh, yeah. You get a cargo van for around fifteen hundred bucks. So you're looking cargo van or, or Dodge truck? Dodge truck, yeah. Okay. I'm going to inventory. How do How do I add you here? Yeah, Ivan Corcus. Maybe in a minute here. I'll, oh, there we go. There we go. I don't use a phone. I use all my um my computer. How do you spell the last name? K S right there. One mutual friend. Who? I don't know. I'm gonna ask. How do I ask you for a friend? Oh, they're at friend. Um, who, is, who do we know? You know him? Yeah, that's my, that's my like my cousin. He probably. Um, I probably know him from YouTube. I, right I, there. I, yes, he, he, it's still on Seven Eleven. The Seven Eleven up the hill? Yeah, by old Highway 80 and. Uh, oh really? Yeah. Huh? Wow. Well, interesting. Small world, even though it's a big world. Okay, man, have fun. I'll, I'll look. I'll let you know what to say this week and everything. Thank you. Oh, okay. what do you Diesel do? or gas? What do I do? What? Diesel. No, what, what do you do you with vape? You're saying? I make it. What? A liquid? Yeah, anything you want. I sell. Um, mainly what I sell is the CBD vape. I sell a lot of CBD. Uh, what? Made it GSC or made it hemp? No, hemp. Yeah, I have Ex that. Sourced from X. Um, we sell it by the liter, by the gallon, and then the flavored stuff. I sell that by the gallon like crazy. Uh, you do you do, do you make any of your own stuff? Or no, you? No, I'll, I'll mine up premium. Does it do good for you? Yeah, like for me. Well, that worked out pretty well. I hadn't talked to him in quite a while, and um, hell, I might end up selling him a car. Honestly, if you want to chase it down, there's quite a few things you can chase down for sure. I don't sell as much new cars. Him looking for the cargo van, I can help him with a cargo van. I'm cargo van name. I need to go to the mall by a cargo van. I don't know about all that. It sounded good though. I'm actually enjoying this Infinity, by the way. I don't know if I've showed it on my channel yet. I don't know where you're seeing this video, when, where, if, and, or, but. But I know, really and truly, I'm enjoying the Infinity. It's a good little strong driver. It's got plenty of power when you put your foot into it. And it's a nice car. I'm not a fan. I I can drive anything. I just kind of prefer Mercedes-Benz. 
especially a certain variation of the old square bodies. I could get used to driving this, and I've been trying everything. It could use a tiny bit of alignment. It pulls to the right just a tiny bit. Okay, anyways, that was talking to him. Now, any car you need, I can get you. Just like that. I got a package here in the mail. It's actually from... Actually, I better be correct about this. Surrey or something? Or... No. I don't know where. Somewhere in UK. That's not really just saying England or you'll get it in trouble. Oh man, it just goes. Even that little bump that was a little pothole in the road and I didn't even feel it, although I heard it. I like that one better. Oh yeah, it's got the auto setter too. Boom! 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 Wow! Wow! Oh, holy wow! What is that? What kind of glass? NASA glass? Airplane? Seriously, watch. I hardly have to touch it. Crack there. Crack there. Crack there. It's making marks in it, man. But this? Just not the way of the hammer fall. Watch. Amazing. Oh, it's betcha. Yeah, that's straight up just. No, it's safety glass, man. There's, There's stuff in there. That's crazy. Easily amused? Yes. Possibly so. Okay, well, I don't have a piece of wood. And I'm going to need. Hey, damn piece of wood. I want to use this. <laughs> Woo! Hey, this will work. I'm gonna have to get a little bit of a different grippy going on here. And I'm not doing that good. Really, it's easier for me to start the other way. Let's talk about some cars that are sold, some that are left really quickly in this video, and kind of give you an idea. I'm going to give some absolutely cheap prices. If I still have it, you're going to be just amazed, and you should just call me and buy it as soon as ever loving possible. The Infinity. The Infinity I just got in. There's not even videos of it up yet. I will sell it. It's got 20s. I've been driving it. It's beautiful inside. Call me on this car. It is a computer greenish metallic and that car get it before eBay cheap right around three grand the um, Crown Vic 2008 flex fuel vehicle get this car right around the same, same price the old Aurora it's out here it ain't gonna be here much longer get this car out of here nice car however and a full review on my channel Get this car out of here. 
850 bucks. This one, I'll make you a deal. It'll go. I'll make a deal on it cheap. I gotta look it up. The GTAs, both of them are for sale. Both of them are low mile. And you should call me if you want one. Oldsmobile 88 with 57,000 original miles. One owner car. I've drove it around town quite a bit. It needs a coil pack. Full review on my channel. It's been here too long. It's still got a nice shine to it. It's a Royale. Fully loaded, all leathered out, everything you can imagine. Um, that car, get it out of here. Subscriber special, 1700 bucks. The 264 PRV. I'm gonna take pictures again. I'm gonna put this thing up and get rid of it. I had it sold to a guy to Iceland. I worked with him for a year. Iceland is green, right? Yeah, there you go. He couldn't do it. It didn't work out for him. So with that in mind, that car, PRV motor, five speed, four speed with the electronic overdrive. Get it the heck out of here. 2,500 bucks, it's a nice car, totally collectible. I'm gonna be selling these two. I will sell these three. I don't know what I'm going to ask for them. Um, I'll make you a deal. I'm gonna go ahead and take a, a picture. No, I'm not. My phone died. Okay. This thing, get it out of here. You want this car? Um, get it quick. It's not gonna last long. Cabriolet, only 72,000 miles on it. One owner car. Look at the interior. I know my shadow's blocking it. Clean as can be. Great little collectible car. Get this thing out of here. 2350 bucks. Full review on my channel. This thing might be sold. But if you wanted it before I get it out of here, um, 900 bucks, I just want it gone. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick picture. Okay, I rolled through and took some pictures, and that definitely took a minute there. Um, the Wagoneer is coming up also, and I walked in here and didn't show it. So, Wagoneer coming up. It's a nice Wagoneer. It's only got 45,000 original miles on it. I actually like the patina. Clean as can be. Um, call me, I don't have it ready for price yet. This thing, 59,000 original mile. Gray market, SLC, with the Euro bumpers, Euro lights and all. Um, this is gonna be a fast rising collectible. These were the most expensive ones they made. Besides maybe the 6.9. Um, I need to take a video. Well, I meant picture. Either way, I did it. This one's sold. This one I gotta get my fuel pump on. Um, cheap. I'll make you a deal. Really, I drove it a long way. It's only got 88,000. This just came in. This will be the first time you've seen it. Actually, there's something special about this one I haven't went over, but I will be in a video that's coming up. Um, absolutely beautiful black paint. Nice, clean interior and everything. Too much shadows up there. Let's try back here. There we go. Look at this. Point! Okay. Ooh, it does have the floor mats. Thank you. Look at Link. Oh. Well, Lincoln. This Lincoln is going on big time. I gotta get rid of it. Um, you want this car? I'll make you an absolute steal on it. Um, I'm gonna list it for more, but it's a running driving deal. You just need to tinker around. There's a full review on my channel, and um, oh hell, subscriber special. Not gonna see it nowhere else. I take 2,500 bucks. This thing here, nice. One owner, 92,000 original mile car. This stuff's letting loose here, just from time. If it needs new trim, I would just replace it. Well, top's pretty nice. It really is, it's just that trim. I know, baby. Let's look inside, we're already here. That's sold, it's going to Idaho. God, that's a nice Wagoneer. That's sold, it's going to Chinequa. Look at this, there's my wrench I can never find. Nice, clean, good running car. And there's a little bit of stuff in it, I've been driving it around. And still has Chuck when he was here. Nice V8, good, strong car. What are you doing? Deaglespocket.com. What? What, what, what? 
You're funny. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stop wiggling and let me get you. Grr. 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 <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, coons have got in my trash again, our um, possum. This is coming out. I'm going to get pictured. I'm going to list it. So is that. So those are coming on along. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, we'll talk to you. OneOwnerCarGuy.com We're outside. She's a sunbathing puppy. We gotta push this button. There we go. You just had a sweet little puppy. Oh, this is so such a sweet little puppy. Or the sunbather. Under the arm. Is that an under the arm call? Oh yeah, that's it, isn't it? That's it. Can you close your eyes tighter? Not so much. She's a good girl. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, Lord bless you. What are doing? You've got allergies. You've got beagle allergies. You're allergic to dogs, maybe. You're allergic to dogs? Bless you. What's doing? What's doing? This is a big Dorcas. You hear a bird calling you, huh? <whistles> oh, this fall down. I just fall down. What, you gonna get up? Not so much, not so much. Oh, it's a big belly rub. Did I stop? Let me clean your eye out. Let me clean, <laughs> let me clean your eye out. Let me clean your eye. There we go. There we go, that way you Okay. Okay. Does that mean I'm going somewhere and you want to too? What? Oh! Oh, the sunbather! You stay here, okay? You stay here. Stay here. Hi. Just stay here, okay? I'll be right back.